Pete, you came out of the blocks roaring despite the late, late change in your back line. It, it was a London Irish that looked, looked like they were the top of the table, not the bottom. Yeah, I think since I came here, I can't believe that we're on the bottom, Thibault. I think we're a good team and it was a massive team effort, even though like just before the game, we got a, uh, someone got sick on our team, major reshuffles and we still came out with a win. So massive win for the boys, I think. Dare I say, at Gloucester, you were 17 nil up and that didn't quite go to plan afterwards. But was there belief and confidence within the group that the more the points kept coming through half-time and the other, into the second half that you could still do it? Yeah, definitely. What I realised this week, obviously my first game against Harlequins, is that there's some kind of special thing going on between the two. And I think that's what changed the mindset where we played Worcester. And it, I have to be honest, it did come to my mind just before half-time, being in the same position as then. But I'm so glad that we could pull this off. So, You mentioned Worcester and of course they won at six ways, which means that you've only made up one point. But the performance has got to give you great heart going into these final three games, right? Yeah, definitely. I think what, I'll, um, what Declan and Emma's come in and, and said is just to take it game by game and it's out of, ha our, it's out of our hands. So, you know, it's the flip of the coin and they might have lost this game and then we were still in the run. So we... We're going to take it game by game and keep um, getting good performances in for our team. That's important. But the feel good is definitely in the group. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very good. Well, good luck for the rest of the game. Thank you very much.